I know guys recently I've been making too many videos about Limiteds 2.0 but I'm kind of excited for them to release you know I'm very curious to see how this does I think either this could go very well and it's gonna like revive the whole sort of like limited scene on Roblox or it could be a complete disaster and there's gonna be tons of copyrighted stuff popping up everywhere the whole avatar shop is gonna get flooded with UGC Limiteds honestly I don't know what's gonna happen but what I do know guys is this update is probably coming in around one to two weeks yeah it turns out Roblox is starting to test this even more. They're trying to finalize it. They're trying to get it ready for a public release. And in today's video, I have a little bit of information to show you guys some more Limited's 2.0 news. And I do also have a very cool test item that I really want to get actually. So yeah, we're going to be talking about that as well. So we are starting off the video with a tweet from Lucas. This guy's been in my videos a lot recently, right? But he said, this hat, while not being unlimited, had a reseller's chart at the bottom. While it isn't available to load though, so so yeah, basically what it says, you know, like on limited items where it has like a seller's chart where you can see everyone that's listed the item for sale. You know, you can compare prices. Some people sell them for like ridiculous amounts. Some people sell them fairly cheap. Well, yeah, it turns out UGC limiteds are going to be exactly the same. This one's still on the Roblox account, but we can see here it says failed to load price chart and resellers. Obviously, if you refresh it, it doesn't work. Nobody's selling it. But yeah, guys, another step closer to UGC limiteds or limiteds 2.0 being ready. So this tweet also from Lucas, this confirms that these UGC items can go limited and yes, they're not just made by Roblox. So I guess this item might be the first sort of UGC limited that's not on the Roblox account. It's on the account hats off to 2019, which is an old Roblox test account, which they still use, I guess. So there you go. There is now officially a UGC hat with a sales chart. I guess this was the first one. Now, as I was saying a couple of minutes ago, guys, there is a new Roblox test accessory that I really want to get my hands on. Like, I really want this. And let me show you guys what it is. So you know what the test cap is, right? That's sort of like red and gray cap. It was kind of like the 2019 version of the 2007 Roblox baseball cap. Anyway, on the official Roblox account, I've got to show you guys this. This is so cool. If I scroll down to their collections, you can see there is now a blue test hat. What the heck? I didn't know they would do them in different colors. I want to get one of these. Now, unfortunately, they're all off sale. Obviously, because they're testing them for the sort of UGC limited, you know, they're not going to sell them just yet. I doubt we will ever get the chance to buy a blue one. I'm kind of hopeful though. Not gonna lie, I definitely want this in my test cap collection. It's still got the sparkle time fedora description though. But yeah, the test hat PMQ. Don't know what that means, but it's a blue test hat. That is awesome. I wish they'd do them in every color. Could you imagine if they did like a yellow one, an orange one, a rainbow one? Yeah, that'd be really, really cool. I'd actually want to see like an all gray one. I kind of want to see what that looks like now. Obviously this was incredibly easy to make. So here's the red one. Literally all Roblox did was just change the hue and saturation to blue. I'm surprised that they didn't do that already, actually. That's like such an easy trick, I guess. One thing I do want to test, I want to turn it all gray and see what it looks like. If I just go into black and white. Oh, mad. Yeah, I would definitely want a test cap that looks like this. That looks cool. Still has the older Roblox logo on there. Maybe they will update it. I did quickly have a look on my Sharkblocks account because this is where I stored my test cap collection. And I can confirm, guys, none of them are on sale, which is a bit disappointing. I literally went through all of them, guys. Even the weird ones like the hat accessories, the back accessories. I couldn't find any test caps that I own that were currently on sale for Robux. Yeah, just everyone I checked out, even though I own them, obviously it just says item off sale, which is disappointing because I know a few of you guys still do want some. Maybe some more will go on sale soon. I'm not really too sure though. I was going to try the blue test hat inside of a game to see if I could, you know, get it working on my avatar. For some reason, guys, it doesn't want to let me equip it, which is very frustrating. Yeah, it's just not working, is it? Well, I guess that confirms Roblox probably isn't going to sell these. There is one thing I really don't like about them though, it's kind of annoying. They're always slightly off center. So you can see this side is kind of sticking out a bit and then on the other side, it's clipping through my avatar's head. But oh well, I guess it is a test cap for a reason, right? The quality isn't supposed to be amazing. So there we are guys, I think that's probably it for this video. Roblox UGC Limited or Limited 2.0 is coming very, very soon. Maybe in one week, maybe in two weeks, we're not really sure. But we definitely know they are coming soon and we should all get to test them. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.